Hello, hello everybody, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube Creative Studio. This is a video tutorial where I would like to show you how to crochet this amazing scarf. You can make it as wide as you wish, as long as you wish, or you can make it really big to create a shawl. The pattern is uh, amazing. Uh, you will train all stitches, single crochet, double crochet, half double crochet and trebles and chains. And I absolutely love this pattern which creates uh, waves on the scarf. And uh, yeah, it's uh, super easy. You will work in rows back and forth uh, creating the waves and then the row with uh, single crochet stitches. The pattern notes are available in the box right below this video tutorial and the written pattern is for free on my blog. I will use yarn Alice Angora Gold Simly. In one ball there are 100 grams, 500 meters, uh, 500 47 yards and it's 75% uh, acrylic yarn, 20% wool and 5% uh, metallic thread. And I will use 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. You will need some scissors, sewing needle and I also prepared some stitch markers as I will mark mark uh, the stitches on the foundation chain. We will work in rows back and forth. I will start with the foundation chain and the length of the foundation chain is the length of your shawl. So it will be a really long foundation chain. So that's why I will mark every fifth stitch. You can also mark every 40th stitch or 20th stitch. It's fully up to you. Just make sure that the number of stitches you have is a multiple of 16 plus 1. Okay, so I will place the stitch marker on the stitch number 50 and again I will continue crocheting 50 stitches and, and I will place the stitch marker on the next 50th stitch. Okay, and uh, yeah. <laughs> Here I am, again let me mark the stitch and I made 289 stitches which is a multiple 16 plus 1 and I have, I have um, 18 repetitions plus one and once you finish your foundation chain, chain one and I don't count chain one as a turning stitch. Okay, now I will measure the length of my foundation chain. Actually the length of the show will be a bit shorten as, as I will make you know uh, the the waves but I will measure the final shawl so you will see the length at the end of my video tutorial so now I have 150 and plus 63 so I have 2 uh, meters and 13 centimeters okay so this is it and now let's continue crocheting the first row and it will be row with single crochet stitches so chain one 
and uh, let's make a, a single crochet in second chain from your hook and I would recommend you to work in the bump in the third loop which is behind the front and back loop of your foundation chain. I really love to start my project working in bumps but it's fully up to you. You can also work in the foundation chain. Just make sure you have a number of stitches of single crochet stitches a multiple of 16 plus 1 okay and uh, i just prepared a shorter foundation chain to show you the pattern so this is my sample i will make two repetitions okay so it will be easy to explain so now make a row of single crochet stitches 16 plus 16 plus 1 so I will have 33 stitches and it's um, only 4 rows repeat and it's really easy pattern I think you will love it <laughs> Okay, so the row of single crochet stitches, I will meet you at the end. Perfect. Now chain one and turn your work. I don't count chain one as a stitch. Now make single crochet in the first stitch. Okay, in the first stitch, let's make a single crochet. And then single crochet in next stitch. Perfect. Then chain one and skip one and make half double crochet in the next stitch. Chain one, skip one, half double crochet in next. Chain one and skip one. And let's make a double crochet in next. So always chain one between stitches and skip one. Okay, so double crochet, chain one, skip one, and let's make a treble in next. Skip one in next, make a treble. Then chain one and skip one. And let's make a treble in next stitch. Then chain one, skip one, and let's make a double crochet in next. And then chain one, skip one and let's make a half double crochet in next. Chain one, skip one and let's make a single crochet in next. And this is our pattern which I will repeat. Chain one, skip one and let's make single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet, two trebles, double crochet, half double crochet and single crochet. And chain one between them. So single crochet, chain one, skip one, half double crochet, chain one, skip one. This pattern is perfect to practice stitches. Now double crochet in next, chain one, skip one, and uh, treble in next stitch. Then chain one, skip one, and let's make a treble in next. Perfect. Then chain one, skip one, and double crochet in next. 
chain one and skip one and half double crochet in next stitch then chain one and skip one and let's work a single crochet in the last two stitches single crochet and single crochet perfect <laughs> we just finished the second row and the next row will be really easy it will be row with single crochet stitches you can check the pattern so single crochet single crochet half double crochet double crochet two trebles double crochet half double crochet and two singles so chain one and turn your work and let's make single crochet in next two single crochet stitches one two then single crochet in chain one space single crochet in double crochet or half double half double crochet then single crochet in chain one space single crochet is in a double crochet single crochet in chain one space and single crochet in treble then in chain one space then in treble chain one space double and so on till you reach the end of row so make sure you work single crochet in each and every stitch and in each chain one space now chain four it's really important chain four is a treble it's a stitch and then make a treble in next stitch so in the second stitch in the row so we have two trebles at the beginning of the row now chain one skip one and let's make a double crochet in next stitch so in the previous row we started with two singles now we started with two trebles so double crochet chain one skip one and let's make half double crochet chain one skip one and let's make a single crochet and you see one row below there are two trebles so let's work single crochet chain one skip one and again a single crochet easy 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 to remember chain one skip one and now half double crochet chain one skip one and double crochet chain one skip one and let's make a treble and you'll see uh, one row below there is a single crochet so you can very easily check if you are right with your stitches if the number of stitches is correct and the height of stitches is also correct so chain one skip one and let's make double crochet chain one skip one and make a half double crochet then chain one skip one and make a single crochet chain one skip one and single crochet chain one skip one and half double crochet then chain one skip one and make a double crochet chain one skip one and you will finish with two trebles we started with two trebles and I will finish with two trebles perfect so this is it this is it my crochet friends 
Now I will make a row with single crochet stitches. So again, it will be easy. Working in every stitch and every chain one space. So chain one, then your work and make single crochet in the first stitch, single crochet in next stitch, single crochet in chain one space and single crochet in next stitch. So again it's easy and you will have the same number of single crochet stitches as we have in one row below this row. And now you will repeat row number 2, 3, 4 and 5. Perfect, I'm at the end. And this is it. You already know how to make the pattern for your shawl. I love it. It's beautiful. <laughs> So guys, you see two trebles, doubles, double, half double and two singles. And always if you have the longest stitch, the treble, on the uh, row, one row below, there is a single crochet. So you can easily check it. So two singles, half double, double, two trebles in the first row. And the first way wave and then you are yeah, so you are going up and down up and down and now I started up going down and again up and down with our stitches so what do you think my crochet friends I think you will love to make this pattern it's very repetitive it's relaxing and uh, it's easy to count it so guys, I will work on my shawl. Here I am, I'm working in rows. I made row one, two, three, four and five and I will continue. And now I will repeat again row number one, two, three and four. So isn't it beautiful? <laughs> so I will see how uh, the shawl will look like once I finish one ball and uh, yeah I will use the same crochet hook so guys let's keep continue crocheting and I will meet you once uh, my uh, ball will be nearly used up and I will see how the scarf is um, with what is okay so I made one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11 and 12 waves rows and between them there are always rows with single crochet stitches. I finish with a single crochet row and uh, I'm done. Let me measure the width. The shortest part is 17 centimeters and the widest part is 20 centimeters and yeah I'm so so happy how the scarf turned out and yeah I love this pattern it's amazing and also the yarn which is uh, shining a little bit this is the rest of ball and I think um, it's possible to make the scarf a bit wider one two three maybe four rows but uh, i'm happy with uh, this size and i would like to add some tassels at the ends of the scarf so now i will sew the the end actually there are two ends at the beginning and at the end I love working with one ball, <laughs> it's easy. And now I will show you how to make the tassels. There are many 
uh, options uh, so you can choose uh, the one you like I will show you the easiest one you can prepare some cardboard or plastic mat or paper mat uh, up to you or I will use my iPhone to measure the length of the threads and my tassel will be from a four threads the same length and you see so I wrap my um, iPhone and now I have four threads insert the hook in this is the place where the single crochet stitches uh, meet together uh, fold the threads in half create a loop then pull the loop through the end of shawl and then pull the threads and through the loop and this is really easy let me show you one more time I wrap uh, the cardboard or a small small book or a notebook there are four threads inside the hook in the next place make a loop and then grab all threads and pull them through the loop on your hook and this is it I have seven tassels at one end and seven tassels on the opposite side I absolutely love this pattern it's so beautiful and the scarf is so light and airy okay I, I have to remove the stitch markers I absolutely forgot and uh, yeah guys this is it uh, this is the end of my video tutorial I hope you like it uh, I love to make video tutorials for you so if you like it please give me your thumb up and don't hesitate to subscribe to my channel I would like to wish you really happy crocheting take care and bye for now bye bye